हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज डिस्कोर्स ऑन लॉ एंड पॉलिटिक्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द प्रीलिम्स पेपर ऑफ यूपी जुडिशरी ऑफ 2013 एंड वी विल कवर दिस सब क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द लॉ सब्जेक्ट्स सो इफ यू आर फर्स्ट ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल सो दैट यू कैन गेट द नोटिफिकेशन फॉर ऑल आवर वीडियोज विच विल विच वी विल अपलोड इन फ्यूचर सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो सो वी लेट्स स्टार्ट द question papers to solve this question paper here so the first question which we are taking here that is the this was asked in the 2013 while deciding cases of terrorist which procedure is to be followed and the options which are given here procedure established by law procedure established by the constitution both a and b above and none of the above so there are four options which are given here and tell me which is the right option here so if you see Uh, this is also a case of the article 21 and also if you find that because this is a case with respect to terrorism so of course the article 22 will also come here so therefore what you will find that i think the right answer of this question would be here this both a and b okay because this article 21 itself in the constitution also and 22 is also in the constitution so i think that this will be also covered okay next question in which of the following cases the five judges constitutional bench observed that the doctrine of postponement was aimed at balancing the right of an accused to be presumed innocent till completion of trial with the media's right to freedom of expression so in which case the supreme court has used this doctrine of postponement postponement with respect to presu uh, presumption of innocent till the com completion of the trial and the options which are given here you all can see the first option is ajay kumar parmar versus state of rajasthan second is sahara india real estate corporation limited versus securities the third one is raj gopal versus state of tamil nadu the fourth one is ajay goswami versus union of india so which is the right answer just give your answer through the comment box i am waiting for your response so the right answer of this question is sahara india real estate corporation limited versus cb next question the question is which one of the following is not the way of termination of citizenship so among which is not the which is not the way to terminate the citizenship which we have to see here and the options which are given here by renunciation by acquisition the tour journey of another state for few months by deprivation so my dear friends if you see among these options so by renunciation yes it is also a way of uh, termination by acquisition it is also a way of uh, termination of citizenship by deprivation is also there but this option that is a third c if someone visiting some other nation for few months there in that case this op this person will not lose its citizenship so therefore this option c is correct here now next question it is this it shall be the duty of every citizen of india who is a parent or guardian to provide opportunities for education to his children or as the case may be ward between the age of 6 and 14 years by which amendment of the act it was included and the options which are given here 42nd amendment 44th amendment 86th amendment 92nd amendment so just give your answer to comment box i am waiting for your response so among this which is the right answer the right answer is this one this is the 86 amendment okay now by this 86 amendment they have inserted provision in the fundamental duties and also they have made a provision in the fundamental right and they have inserted the article 21a you all have no and this was amendment was brought in the year of 2002 let's see the next question which one of the following is not included in article 21 of the constitution of india so we have to see which is not included okay in article 21 and the options which are given here right to die right to life right to livelihood right to dignity so just give your answer here i am waiting for response the right answer of this one this is the right to die is not a part of the article 21 it is not allowed so therefore this is the right answer right to die moving to the next question which one of the following does not apply so we have to see which is not applying here 
does not apply to the term of office of governor and the options which are given here the governor shall hold the office during the pleasure of the president the minimum age for the post of governor shall be 32 years the governor may resign by hand it and signed at desk to the president the term of governor shall be of 5 years so if you just see the first option is a part of the office of governor the first option the second third is also and the 5 years is also but this 32 years is not because it is of the 35 years so therefore you can find here the correct option which is here for this question that is the the minimum age of age for the post of governor shall be the 32 years so this is the right option moving to the next question in which of the following in which of the following case the supreme court called article 32 of the constitution as ugly provision of the constitution okay as the ugly provision of the constitution and the options which are given here that is the Minka Gandhi, Keshwaran Bharti, Indra Swane, Ike Gopalan. So my dear friends, you all know that among all these cases, this case which is this case, that is the Ike Gopalan, it is dealing with the Article 22. And in this case, the court had said that the Const Article 22 of the Constitution is the ugly provision of the Constitution. So this is the case where the Supreme Court had said. The article 22 has a ugly provision of the constitution. Now next question, the person associated with the PIL. So who person, so who was a person who is associated with the PIL? The questions is given, the options which are given here. You all can read. Justice Bhagwati, Justice R.N. Mishra, Justice Venkat Chalaya and none of the above. So which is the right answer? Any one of you just let me know who is associated with the PIL. Justice Bhagwati is known as very popular with the PIL because he has not written but also he has spoken uh, or the uh, both the things he did. So therefore uh, he is known as a person who is very much associated with the PIL. Let's see the next question. Next, in which of the following decision of Supreme Court of India, the seven judge bench explained the public interest litigation. So we have to, in which case, Subhan was judgment had discussed about the public interest litigation of the judgment of Supreme Court of India. And the options which are given here, Mumbai Kamgar Sabha vs. Abdullah, Akhil Bharti Soshit Kamchari Singh vs. Union of India, SP Gupta vs. Union of India, Neeraj Chaudhary vs. State of UP. So which is the right answer? The right answer of this question here, which you all can see, this, just let me know from your comment box meanwhile. The right answer is this SP Gupta versus Union of India. So this is the right answer. <clears throat> now let's see the next question. In which of the following decision the Supreme Court observed mercy petition filed under section 72 and 161 should be disposed of within a period of three months from the date when it is received as unwanted delays tend to shake the confidence in the system of justice. So basically it is about the mercy petition and with respect to article 72 and 161 and the court said that it must be uh, taken care disposed of within the disposal within three months otherwise it would be as a unwanted delays and where the confidence will be saved in the system of justice and the options which are given here Kuljit Singh versus Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, Maru Ram versus of India Sayer Singh vs. State of Punjab, Kehar Singh vs. Union of India. So which is the right answer? Just give your answer to comment box. I am waiting for a response. The right answer of this question is this one. Sayer Singh vs. State of Punjab. Where the Supreme Court says that within the three months after the mercy petition accepted either in 72 or 161 of the constitution, it must be disposed of. Next question. It is about the matching. So let's see the next question here. The next question is mention the chronology of the following judgments of Supreme Court of India starting from the earliest up to the latest case. Use the code below. So we have to start firstly the, the old one. From old one to we have to go to the new one. Okay. So this is how we have to go because it says the earliest up to the latest case. Okay. So now the cases which are given here. Akhil Bharti Sosit Kamchari Sangh. This case. And this was judgment is of the 1981. Inda Swahane, this is judgment of 1992. 
एम आर बालाजी इट इज ऑफ नाइनटीन सिक्सटी टू एम्स स्टूडेंट यूनियन वर्सेज एम्स टू थाउजेंड वन सो एस पर यू कैन सी द ओल्डेस्ट वन इज द थ्री दैट इज एम आर बालाजी देन दन देन द्री सॉरी टू देन द फोर सो दिस इज हाउ यू कैन फाइन थ्री वन टू फोर ओके सो लेट सी विच इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज एयर सो यू कैन सी दिस ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट okay so sometimes you need to remember the years of the judgment as well coming to the next questions and this question says that the binding force behind the directive principle of state policy is based on on public opinion government constitution administration so from where this uh, binding force is there so just give your response i am going to highlight the right answer the right answer of this one public opinion Although DPSP is not enforceable as per the provision of the Constitution, but the future government they will implement all these things because there would be some pressure from the people that they need some these or the principles or these kind of the laws must be based on these principles given in the DPSP. So it is on the public opinion. And Ambedkar has also said about the bindingness of this one. Uh, that is the why it is uh, how what would be the value of this when it is going this. dpsp is going to be non justiciable so what would be the value so then he said that uh, he said that it would be a valuable based on the public opinion people will put a pressure will keep a pressure on the government to make this kind of the laws now the next question is here prorogation means what is the meaning of prorogation and the options which are given here you all can see inviting the members of parliament asking the speaker to hold session of lok sabha dissolution of the lok sabha and termination of sessions so this is how you can find here so if you just see among these options which are given here the right option is termination of session so whenever the uh, speaker of the house they want to uh, you know terminate the session of a uh, house for example they want to they have the winter session and now from winter session they will go to the budget session so meanwhile they will you know uh, do this prorogation where this they will do this prorogation where the house will be suspended for that time till that time so it is not like a, a dissolution of the lok sabha it is like a termination of the session next question of this uh, of this uh, 2013 is here which one of the following statement is not correct so we have to see which is not the correct here okay and the options which are given no mandamus can be issued to enforce an act which has been passed by the legislature yes it is correct court can not issue any direction to the legislature to make any particular kind of the enactment yes it is also correct supreme court may give direction for amending an act it is not correct under the constitution constitutional scheme parliament and the state legislature exercise sovereign power to enact law yes it is also correct so the right answer of this question is here which you all can see i am highlighting the right option here which is incorrect this is the c okay Our Supreme Court can not give a direction to amend the Act here. Moving to the next question. The next question is here: In which provision of the Constitution of India is incorporated the principle of collective responsibility of the Council of Ministers? So the it is about the collective responsibility of the Council of Ministers, and the options which are given here: Article seventy five, clause three; seventy five, clause one; Article one seventy one, clause four; Article one hundred eighteen, clause four. So this is the these are the options so which is the right answer here just give your answer the right answer of this question is this article 75 clause 3 it talks about the collective responsibility so what is the meaning of the collective responsibility collective responsibility means whatever the decision has been taken by the cabinet who are the part of this cabinet they will collective responsible for that decision no will give their disagreement about any decision which has been taken by the council of ministers so therefore what you find that it is a collective responsibility now next question is here De determination by law in the marriageable age of of a boy 21 years and a girl of 18 18 years it offends article 14 of the constitution does not offend article 14 of the constitution is against the rule of law violates human rights so there are four options which are given here <clears throat> so which is the correct answer whether the uh, age based marriageable age is a is a you know uh, discrimination so you all know that 
it is not offending the article of 14 of the constitution because it is based on the reasonable classification so it is based on the reasonable classification and therefore there are justification that why the age for the boy is 21 years and why the age of the girl is 18 years so this is how you can see moving to the next question who said the law is not deduced from the rule but the rule from the law who was the man who had said so so just highlight the name type and no this is statement and the options which are given here the polis gray alpian salmon so which is the right option here just let me know the right answer of this question is polis okay so he had said that law is not the deduce from the law rule but the rule from the law now the next question is here who had said so the only duty only right which any man can possess is the right always to do his duty so who had said so and the options which are given here hearing earless roscoe pound do it and the right answer of this question is here just give your answer through comment box i am waiting for the response what do you think that which is the right answer the right answer of this one is this do it okay moving to the next question we need to point out the best response okay so according to the austin law has been follow, has the following attributes command sovereign enforceability command sovereign in sanction command sovereign legal remedy command sovereign and obedience by such subject so which is the right option here just give me the answer i am waiting for your response the right answer is this one b command sovereign and sanction this is the right answer now moving to the next question the next question is as which one of the following jurist belongs to ancient theories of natural law so we have to see the ancient theories of the natural law and you can see the name which is which are given here aquinas grossius kohler and socrates and we have to find this ancient who is the most oldest so you can see the oldest among this is the Mr. socrates that is the man who had discussed about the natural law and therefore the right answer is this Socrates. Now the next question is here. Which one of the following is not an essential element of custom? Okay. And which we what we need to identify not essential element of the custom. And the options which are given here you can see an antique, certainty, peaceful enjoyment, inconsistency. So this is a question very important this question has been already asked in the previous papers also so which is the right answer among this please just give your answer i am waiting for your response the right answer is this inconsistency so this is the custom custom must be antique custom must be certain custom must be peaceful enjoyment but all these things must have some consistency that means it must go with the continuous practice of this so in case if you have inconsistency then you it is not going to be as a custom so this is how this uh, the uh, the inconsistency is not essential element now move to this question give correct response so we have to give the correct response here and the options which are given here you can see the obiter dictum has fall, has binding force ratio decidendi has binding force ratio decidendi and obiter both have binding force neither ratio decidendi nor obiter dictum has binding force so my dear friends you i think you all know that the what is the meaning of the ratio decidendi so which is the right answer here only the ratio decidendi is going to be binding one okay so this is the answer so each judgment will have two parts so whenever there is judgment there would be two parts one is the obiter dictum second is the ratio decidendi so obiter dictum is kind of the some paragraph some statement which is made in the I know just in the in the way you can say that uh, in understood in order to understand the facts and the cases of that one while ratio decendi is about the reason why it is there what kind of reason has been taken why this is uh, to what kind of judgment should be given and why this judgment should be given so it is based on the reason so therefore ratio decendi is the binding one not this the obiter dicta so this is how you can see now the next question is here which one of the following is not safeguard against the delegated legislation so again we have to see which is not safeguard against the delegated legislation and the options which are given here that is parliamentary control judicial control publication so you all know that the this is this is a, a way of 
you know control the delegated legislation parliamentary control judicial control and the publication control now let's see the fourth option all these options are the way where you can control the delegated legislation okay delegated legislation are those kind of the legislation where the parliament is not making the law rather than the executive bodies they are making the laws and they have delegated the, that means parliament by the law they have delegated this power to the executives so this is how you can see moving to the next option which is i think the uh, you know is not a safeguard and this is a public control public control is not the way to control a delegated legislation okay so coming to the next question again we have to point out the incorrect statement incorrect response here and the question is here ownership is qualified is classified in the following ways now the options which are given that means it is about the classification of the ownership that means it is about the types of the of the ownership okay so the first one is corporate and corporate in ownership yes it is correct immediate and immediate ownership it is not correct sole and co ownership it is correct vested and contingent ownership correct so this is how you can find that the types of the ownership is the given here immediate and immediate possession is related to the uh, so ownership is related to the possession it is not related to the ownership so it is about the possession okay so this is how you can find here so the correct answer of this question is here that means which is not, which is incorrect here this one immediate and the immediate ownership let's see the next question who prefers to call austrian schools as a imperative schools okay and the options which are given here allen patton salmon and holland okay now you know that the man who had said so which is the right answer the right answer of this question is here the allen allen had said that the allen had said that the austrian school is like the imperative schools where the everything is likely to bind oblige you have to follow follow that okay now next is which one of the following case is related to the position we have to see which case is related to the position and if you see the option there are more than one cases which are related to the position the first one is this r versus chishers mary versus green r versus hudson so these are three cases which are related to the position so i don't think that which answer is correct here so this is not belonging to the position that is galley versus lee is not the case of the position so there are more than one options are correct now moving to the next question which one of the following is not a legal person so we have to see which is not the legal person and the options which are given here ideal of goddess durga yes it is a legal person state of kerala it is a legal person arista society is a legal person mosque is not a legal person so the right answer of this one is here that is the way you can find the mosque mosque is not the legal person why the reasoning which is behind this that the mosque is not necessary to for the prayer uh, you can do the prayer at your home also as the the muslim peoples they believes so therefore the court had this kind of reasoning reasoning so uh, i hope that you all have heard about all these things when this kind of the judgment was about to come on the uh, the you know mosque and all these things okay moving to the next question the next question is this which one of the following is not an element of legal right so we have to see not an element of the legal right okay so the options which are given here the subject that is holder of the right yes it is an element of legal rights the object of the right yes also it is a legal uh, element of legal right the act or forbearance yes it is also a uh, no element of legal right and the legal remedy is not the element of legal right so the right answer of this question is here that is i am going to highlight here this is the legal remedy okay next question jurisprudence as a separate branch of discipline was started by whom so who had started to discuss that jurisprudence can be as a separate branch so the options which are given here hindu scholars it is not christian community it is not romans yes they are the people and jewish is not so the right answer of this question is here that is the you i am highlighting here the romans they had started to discuss jurisprudence as a separate branch now the next question is here the province and function of law the name of the book is the province and function of law who has written this book 
so the options which are given here the heart it is not correct calcium it is not correct pound it is not correct julius stone has written this book and therefore this is the answer is correct so the right option which i am going to highlight here that is the name of the book is the julius stone so he has written this book so julius stone is the man who has said so okay moving to the next question the next question is here time bar depth is okay perfect right imperfect right right in name and none of the so what is the difference between perfect right and imperfect right so perfect right is a right which you can enforce okay and imperfect right is non enforceable okay so therefore time bar depth is not going to be enforceable here so therefore what you find that the, the options which are given among this this is the imperfect right is the correct option moving to the next question punishment provided for kidnapping for ransom in indian penal code is punishable the options which are given here you all can see the up to 7 years of imprisonment life imprisonment only death sentence or life imprisonment 10 years of the rigorous imprisonment so which is the right option here just give the answer here immediately i am waiting for a response the right answer is here that is c death sentence or life imprisonment so this is the right answer so if a or b they or any like the person they are demanding for ransom for kidnapping then they may be liable for the life imprisonment or the death sentence now we have to see this no this question we have to see which pairs is correctly matched okay and the option which are given here the counterfeit yes it is correctly matched so this is the correct match and these rest rest are not the correctly matched here okay it is security is not in section 29 so document is not third is not in third section 30 omission is not in 31 so the among this option which is correct option that is the which i am going to highlight here that is the counterfeit this is the right answer next question in which one of the following offenses mens rea is not an essential element okay so we have to see where the mens rea is not an essential element and the options which are given here assault so in assault mens rea is required in bigamy mens rea is not required defamation mens rea is required and uh, and d none of those so right answer of this question is here which you can say that is bigamy okay so for the bigamy there is need not to have a mens rea the act itself is a is sufficient to constitute the offense okay next question is here a handed over his watch to watch smith for repairing in order not to pay the repairing charges a picked up his watch from the shop when the watch smith was not looking in this case a is guilty of criminal breach of trust a is guilty of cheating a is guilty of theft a is not guilty of any offense because the watch which he picked up was his own however he should pay the repairing charges to watch smith so this is the way you can find here so among this you can see uh, the right option is here that is the uh, which is here just i am going to highlight he will be liable for theft even though the watch was belonging to him why because it was the theft is an offense which is against the possession okay so this is the way you can find that so and this order intention was there and the intention which you can find here it was in order not to pay the repairing charges so this was the the way you can find now moving to this question using of violence by a member of an assembly of five or more person in furtherance of common object will constitute the offense of so you can see it is about the violence and by five or more person in respect to the common object what kind of the offense will be constituted here and the options which are given here affray assault rioting unlawful assembly so which is the right answer please any one of you just let me know which is the right answer the right answer is this rioting okay next question is here this question says that the phrase in furtherance of common intention of all this phrase in presence of common intention of all 
is used in section 34 of the IPC by which amendment whether it was in original draft by by the amendment act of 1870 not all at all there added by amending uh, act of 1986 by the act of 1986 so my dear friends this uh, in furtherance of common object it was added by the amending act of the 1870 so it is in the year of the from the 1870 next question a meets a girl is 15 years in a park she tells him that she for she uh, tell that she father she and father she would be happy to taken away she is uh, she is 16 years of age and she is ill treated at her house by her father and that she would be happy to be taken away from there thereafter it takes the girl's girl to his house and allows her to remain in there so now remember my dear friends the age of the child the age of the girl is 16 years it is not the age of the 18 years so it is only 16 years and she claimed that because of ill treated treatment she is not happy there and therefore she want to go with that person uh, with a so now whether a will be liable here now the options which are given here a has committed no offense as the girl has come with him with her own consent a has committed no offense as the girl misrepresented her age and a believe her matured and capable of consenting a has committed the offense of kidnapping of minor from the lawful guardian lawful guardian a has committed the offense of kidnapping and wrongful confinement so which is the right option here even though she will be ill treated as she is claiming but because of the reason that the age of this girl is below the 16 years so he will be liable for the kidnapping of minor from the lawful guardian so this is the right answer next question the question is this match list first list to select the correct answer by using the code given below the list and the options on the list a side you can find the name of the cases on the list two side you can find the name of the offenses to so rex versus leviat this case belongs to the mistake of fact tabu chetia belongs to the insanity and then the state of vision versus state of kerala it belongs to it belongs to criminal conspiracy state of up versus Virin prasad it belongs to the murder so the right option of this question is here you can find here so a 4 3 2 1 so this is the right option so which is the correct here c okay next question which one of the following statement is correct we have to find the correct statement here in in conspiracy there is no distinction between the principal and accessory yes this is correct statement in conspiracy principal and accessory are distinct it is incorrect there has to be distinct between principal and accessory in, in all offenses it is incorrect none of the above is correct so what you find that whenever any offense is happening with respect to conspiracy then principal and the accessory both are equally liable so these are four there is need not to have any distinction between the principal and accessory and therefore the right answer of this question is here which you all can see that is the a so a is the correct answer of this question moving to the next question which offense is constituted under section 366a of the ipc so which offense is under section 366a of the ipc the options which are given here that kidnapping kidnapping for begging procuration of minor child importing of girl from jammu and kashmir state so which is the right answer here any one of you just give your answer the right answer of this is here the procuration of the minor girl so this is the you can find here next question we have to point out the wrong statement is here and the question is this uh, inter intentional Destruction of property for causing law, wrongful loss to any person is mischief. Yes, it is a correct. Intentional putting any person in fear of injury and thereby dishonestly inducing him to deliver any property is extortion. So if someone put someone in fear and then in the pressure of that fear, he caused or he compelled that person to deliver some kind of the property, 
then this would be case of the extortion it is also correct five or more person co-jointly committing robbery amounts to decati yes it is also correct when five or more people are doing a kind of the robbery it is going to be a decati and then the last one is that is two or more person quarreling anywhere commit a fray yes anywhere is not it is to be always on the public place so this is the a wrong statement so the correct option which is here which is a wrong statement is this one that is two or more person quarreling anywhere commit a free it must be always at a public place next question is here homicide is the killing of human being by another human being and the reason is that homicide is always unlawful so my dear friends homicide is not always the the lawful because in certain kind of cases you can cause the death of someone like the in case of the right to defense so in the right to defense when you have a kind of the reasonable apprehension that uh, someone can cause your death then you can cause the death of that person so this is how you can see so this statement is not correct now let's see the quotes which are given here both a and r true and r is the correct explanation there is no any no uh, connection between the statement and the reason so therefore it is not the correct option let's see the b both a and r true but r is not correct explanation of a r is not correct because in all cases homicide is not illegal a is true but r is false yes this is the correct option and a is false but r is true it is also incorrect so the right answer of this question is here which i am going to highlight here the right answer is a is true but r is false next A picked a matchbox belonging to B and lighted his cigarette with B with it. B charged A with the offense of theft of his match of his matchbox. In these circumstances, A can defend himself with the help of which one of the following maxims? So we have to see which maxim can help him. So now here you can see the first one is that is the non compos mentis, which is the maxim is here non compos mentis. it is which is about that the menseria lack of menseria then the next is dolus in capex that a child who is below the age of certain kind of age like seven years then doli in capex so he is he can't take that plea determinants non curate lexis that means trivial action is not like a actionable claim is or not actionable not kind of the you can you know put that person for liable so if you have some kind of small action which is no, have no meaning then the, in that case it is uh, not to be liable and ignorance of jurist non excuse ignorance of law is no excuse this is also not an example so the right is option is here among this determinants non curate lex because it is very small action therefore he can take the plea of plea, can he can take the plea of this next question is here match list 1 and list 2 and select correct answer by using the quotes given below the list so it is about the delivery of the property and criminal breach of trust so it is not matching let's see the next options which are given here taking of the property yes uh, it is the uh, uh, no a kind of the extortion entrustment of the property it is a case of the cheating already we had seen convertibility of property you know one innocently go got to one's own use that is criminal misappropriation entrustment of the property already we had discussed and the delivery of the property is belonging to the theft so the delivery of the property is for the theft so this is how you can find here yeah. so the if we have to see the one by one options so three then the four then the the uh, no one and then the two so this is the right option 3 4 1 2 okay and where it is this it is here 3 4 1 2 now let's see the next which one of the following is not a mode of abatement under the indian penal code so which is not a mode of abatement under the ipc and the options which are given here attempt instigation aiding conspiracy so which is not the mode of the abatement here the right answer of this one is the attempt attempt is not a mode of the no abatement okay 
moving to the next question under the code of cpc no woman shall be arrested and detained in cpc in in civil prison in the matter regarding to the decree which relates to so a uh, women cannot be go to the prison for what kind of the matter so a uh, women is not allowed to go in prison for what kind of matters under cpc the options which are given here family disputes matrimonial disputes legitimacy of children disputes payment of money disputes so what you find that my dear friends the right answer of this question is here because it is a part of cp it must be also a part of cpc so the for payment of money disputes is you know if for that kind of cases the women will not be in the civil prison okay move to the next question point out the incorrect statement a member of parliament is not entitled to exemption from parliamentary appearance in court a judicial officer may be arrested under civil process at any time ex except when he is going to presiding in or ret returning from his court an original suit may be filed in the high court on the ground of pecuniary jurisdictions the high court can not vary or reverse it, its revisional jurisdictions on any decree or order against which an appeal lies either to high court or any court subordinate to there to so what you find that whenever any matter is going to be taken up by the high court it must be always as you know appeal so this option which is about the original suit is not the correct option okay the court is always only for the appeal they are not for the original suits for with respect to pecuniary jurisdiction now moving to the next question matching the list now it is matching the list on the list one you can find the provisions on list you sorry the subject of the provision and on the list two you can find the provisions particular sections of the cpc so interpreter suit is given under which section of the uh, ipc it is in the sorry ipc not cpc it is in the 88 then the percept is in the 46 then the letter of request in 77 and power to order discovery in section 30 so if you just see the right option which is going to come here that is here the 2 4 1 and 3 so this is the right option and you can see it is in the b so b is the correct option moving to the next question where a compromise was arrived between parties to a suit by playing fraud misrepresentation or mistake and a decree was passed with the consent of the parties then the suffering party may select which one of the following alternatives for setting aside such decree and the option which are given here through appeal through revis revision through review through a suit so he can do go with the appeal okay However, there are more one option, but it is more appropriate here. Now let's see the next question. The documents on which the plant plaintiff relies upon in support of his in support of his claim shall be filed by him in the court. The options which are given along with the plaint within seven days from the date of order by the court for issue of summons. on the date fixed for forming of issue by the court at the time of, or before the hearing of the suit so which is the right answer here move to this question consider the following uh consider the following where the high court calls for the record of any case in its revisional jurisdiction it operates as a stay of such case before the subordinate court no no second appeal shall lie in money suit where the value of such matter does not exceed it is correct rupees to 25000 a plaintiff cannot be allowed by the court to sue afterward for any relief omitted by him in the suit it is incorrect a plaintiff may relinquish any portion of his claim in order to bring the suit within the jurisdiction of any court yes it is correct so the right option which is here among these that is the third a and 3 are incorrect okay so this is the way you can see here move to the next question next question is here under code of cpc that is cp cpc which one of the following is not exempted from the personal appearance appearance in the court so we have to see who is not exempted from personal appearance in the cpc 
and the options which are given minister of union yes they have exemption minister of state yes they have exemption vice president of india they have exemption from personal appearance and chairman of public service commission they don't have any exemption so this is the right option here for this question next question inherent powers conferred under section 151 of the cpc may be exercised by whom so it is about inherent power who can exercise the option which are given supreme court only high court only district court only supreme court high court district court as well as by any civil court so which is the right answer the right answer of this question is this one that is the d it can be exercised by any civil court here so this is the way you can find including the supreme court and the high court moving to the next question a and b so c for recovery of rupees 1000 c has a debt due to him by a alone here c can set off debt against b set off the debt against a set off the debt against a and b both cannot set off a debt due to him by a alone so which is the uh, right answer the right answer of this question is here which i am going to highlight here the right option is this the d cannot set off a debt due to him by a alone move to the next question the term prescribed under section 2 2 clause 16 of the cpc means prescribed by code prescribed by society prescribed by rules none of the above which is the right answer here so whenever you will find the word prescribed under the section 2 clause 16 of cpc then it would be presumed that prescribed by the rules okay so this is how you can find next question under the cpc for the first time provision for compensatory cost in respect of false or vexatious claims for defense has been made under which section and the options which are given in section 35 of the cpc section 35 clause b of the cpc 35 a of the cpc 34 of the cpc which is the right answer here the right answer of the cj here with respect to compensatory cost on false and vexatious claims it is the section 35a move to the next question a deposits a you can see a deposit a box of jewels with b at as his agents c alleges that the jewels were wrongly obtained by a from him and claims them from b here b can institute interpreter suit can institute interpreter suit against c can institute interpreter suit against a and c both cannot institute an interpreter suit against a and c so which is the right option here the right answer of this one which i am going to highlight here cannot institute so this is the right answer move to the next question point out the wrong statements okay the first statement where the defendant appears and the plaintiff does not appear when the suit is called for hearing the court shall dismiss the suit and the plaintiff shall be barred from filing a fresh suit on the name on the same cause of action the second is no appeal may lie from an original decree passed ex parte the plaintiff may apply to the court which passed an ex parte decree against him for an order to set, a, set it aside no court shall set aside a decree passed ex parte merely on the ground that there has been an irregularity in the service of someone upon the defendant so which is the right option here just give me right answer here give me right answer so the right answer of this is here which you all can see that no appeal that means wrong statement is like this no appeal may lie from original decree passed ex parte okay see the next question under the cpc under the cpc objection to jurisdictions as to the place of suing shall not be allowed by an appellate or divisional court unless such objection was taken so the ops we have to see here the options which are given in the court of first instance at the earliest of possible opportunity and there has been a consequent failure of justice these are the grounds and the third is when all conditions a b and c are failed yes so the right answer of this question is here when you will have all these three 
conditions combine these conditions the court of first stands then the then the at the earliest opportunity of the possible and there has been a consequent failure of justice then in that case it would be the uh, article 21's case okay move to the next question now the question is here the nature of revision under cpc is that it operates as a stay of the proceedings it operates as a stay of the suits it operates as a stay of proceeding and suit both it shall not operate as a stay of the suit or proceeding except where such suit or proceeding is stayed by the high court so the right answer of this question is here the d okay so the nature of the revision is like this i am highlighting this one now next question justice js verma committee report of january 23 2013 has recommended that non penetrative form of sexual contact should be regarded as a rape sexual assault and offense under section 354 of the ipc defamation so which is the right answer here any one of you just tell me so this gs committee gs verma committee has recommended that non penetrative form of sexual uh, uh, sexual contact should be also as a rape so the option a is correct now who can issue a search warrant who can issue a search warrant for the post office the options which are given here district magistrate civil court revenue court high court which is the right answer here just give your answer immediately the right answer is here that is the district magistrate what is the nature of statement given in narco test what is the nature of the statement the option which are given here it is not an evidence it is scientific evidence it is an oral evidence that is circumstantial evidence so this evidence is going to be called as a oral evidence now next question cognizance of an offense of defamation under chapter 21 of the ipc can be taken on a police report on a complaint by complaint made by an aggrieved person sue motto by the court all the above so this is going to be taken only when you will file a complaint against the aggrieved person complaint filed by the aggrieved person not against okay next question statement recorded by police officer during investigation under the section 161 of the crpc can be used during trial and the options which are given here for contradicting the witnesses for corroborating the witnesses both a or b and neither for a or b which is the right option give your answer here the question is this next under crpc examination of witness in the absence of accused can be done under which section yes this is the right answer section 299 so this is the correct option this is the correct option okay next question the next question which is here under crpc for an offense punishable with fine only the period of limitation is the 3 months 6 months 1 year 3 years so which is the right answer <coughs> give your answer here i am waiting for a response so the right answer of this question is this this 6 months moving to the next question section 183 applies of cpc applies to where and the <coughs> section 183 of crpc so the option which are given applies to waves on the high seas does not apply to waves on high seas applies to waves within india as well as on waves on high seas has been declared unconstitutional <coughs> sorry for that in case i have some you no know, um, In, uh, kind of the cuff here so okay so let's come to the answer this uh, so this is about the high sea what is the meaning of high sea high sea is a kind of the area where it is not the in the indian territory it is outside the indian territory so in that case the crpc will not apply so therefore the option is it does not apply to the waves on high sea so jo jahaz hai on that which is on high sea it is not going to apply <clears throat> coming to next question 
under which section of crpc provision for keeping the peace on conviction exist and the options which are given here section 108 106 109 and triple one so which is the right answer give your answer here to the comment box so the crpc for keeping the peace on conviction exist under which section the right answer of this question is this one section 109 okay sorry uh, the right answer is 106 okay moving to this question <clears throat> so what do you find the section 41 of the crpc it empowers the police to arrest a person cover all cases limited to cases of mere suspicions uh cases of reasonable suspicions does not cover cover cases of army deserters so <clears throat> so it is if you see it is not covering all the cases however <clears throat> the there are two more than two options are correct maybe uh, which is more appropriate here let's go to the next one <clears throat> so we are we are skipping this question here now next question under c uh, crpc section 27 the age of juvenile is what is the age of juvenile and the options which are given 16 years 18 years 22 years and d none of the above which is the right answer just give your answer to the comment box <clears throat> the answer is this 16 years next question who writes evidence in a criminal trial so who writes the evidence in a criminal trial and the options which are given here any employee of the court my state advocate expert so it it is going to be written written by the the magistrate so the magistrate will write here so this is the right option next question the question is this which section of the crpc applies when the officer in charge of police stations receives information that a person has committed suicide he will immediately report to the executive magistrate so it is with respect to the commission of the committed someone has committed suicide so in case someone has committed suicide by which provision of the crpc he will inform immediately so options which are given here 169 173 and 174 and 178 the right answer of this question is 174 so under 174 of the uh, crpc on 174 of the crpc the police <coughs> officer will report okay officer in charge of station will report next question A is accused of an act which amount to theft or receiving stolen property or criminal breach of trust. A is only charged with the theft. It appears that he committed the offence of criminal breach of trust. He will he may be convicted of criminal breach of trust though he is he was not charged with the such offence. B he may not be convicted of criminal breach of trust because he was not charged with the such offence. C he may neither be convicted of theft nor of criminal breach of trust. He may only be convicted of theft because he was charged with the Yep. So, which is the right answer here? Just give your answer here immediately. I am waiting for response. So, because it has been found that he he has uh, committed an offence which is of the uh, breach of trust, so therefore he may be convicted for that. Okay. <clears throat> Next question. While exercising the power of revision under the CRPC, the High Court cannot. discharge accused accuse the accused grant bail to the accused convict a finding of acquittal into one of the conviction so which kind of the power can be exercised by the high court in case of revision of powers under crpc and the right answer of this question is the d so this is the d is the correct answer i am highlighting this next question and now here you can see the evidence act is here so in indian evidence act the maximum solus populus populus suprema lex is based is related to which section so the meaning of this the uh, interest of the public interest is the more important so the basic purpose of this that the this uh, the public interest is supreme okay so this is how you can see And the options which are given section one twenty one, one twenty two, one twenty three, one twenty four, which is the right answer? Any one of you just give me answer. Which is the right answer? This is based on the section one twenty three of the Indian Evidence Act. Next question: 
द लॉ ऑफ एविडेंस कंसिस्ट ऑफ विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ऑर्डनरी रूल्स ऑफ रीजनिंग लीगल रूल्स ऑफ एविडेंस रूल्स ऑफ लॉजिक और ऑल ऑफ द एब सो विच इज द राइट आंसर यर जस्ट गिव आंसर यर आई एम वेटिंग फॉर रिस्पॉन्स द इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट द इंडियन एविडेंस एक्ट एक्ट हैज द लीगल रूल्स ऑफ द एविडेंस बिकॉज all the rules which are given the evidence act indian evidence act that is going to apply so it is with respect to legal rules next question x sues y for damage done by y by a dog of y x sues y for damage done by a dog of y which y knew to we foresee us the fact that dog had previously bitten a and b and c whether this fact is relevant or irrelevant inadmissible unreliable which is the right answer here just give your answer of course it is going to be the relevant here so this is the right answer next question which one of the following sections of the indian evidence act makes makes relevant op- op- opinions to as to existence of custom so it is about the opinion as to existence of custom so which section of the indian evidence act says this section 47 48 49 50 50 so just give your answer here i am waiting for response here immediately so the section 48 is the right answer next the question is which one of the following does not come within the meaning of document under the indian evidence act so we have to see which does not come within the meaning of document and the options which are given here writing map telephonic talk or wrong a word photographed and the right option is this question is the the right option is this the telephonic conversation it is not a documentary a document okay next question is here a is tried for the murder of b by beating with b a club with the intention of causing his death at a's trial when one of the following is not a fact in issue so we have to see which may not be the fact in issue here and the options which are given here a's beating b with the club a's conversation with c a's causing b's death with the club a's intention to cause b's death so which is the right answer here just give me answer which is the right answer here it is the a's conversation with c is not a relevant factor here so it is not a fact in issue it is not fact in issue it is not okay next question the case of dudnath pande versus state of punjab is re- is related to so the name of the case is dudnath pande versus state of up uh, not punjab state of up and the options which are given here race just a play of will be admission accomplished so which is the right answer just give me your answer through the comment box i am waiting for your response it is with respect to the plea of lb plea of lb is you are making argument that you were not at the place of the occurrence okay now next question is under which one of the following provision of the indian evidence act the words forming part of the same transaction occurs so which section of the indian evidence act says forming part of the same transaction and the options which are given is section 5 section 6 section 11 section 12 which is the right answer please tell me the right answer of this question the right answer of this question is this section 6 next question which one of the following is not a secondary evidence so we have to see which is not a secondary evidence and the options which are given here copy is made from the original by mechanical process copy is made from or compared with the original counterfeit of documents lithography so what do you find that all these three first three options are the secondary evidence and this is the not the secondary evidence so the last option d is the correct option here moving to the next question the next question is point out the incorrect statement so we have to see which is the incorrect statement if a contract is contained in several letters all the letters which is, which it is in, which, is, which it is contained must be proved if a contract is contained in a bill of exchange the bill of exchange must be proved If a bill of exchange is drawn in a set of three, only one need to be proved. If A gives B receipt for money paid by B, oral evidence is offered of the payment. The evidence is not admissible. Okay, so this is how you can find the options are given. So which is the right answer here? 
which is the incorrect we have to find this is one the incorrect statement is this one last when receipt of money paid by b then you have to produce that document not the oral evidence so therefore it is the incorrect statement so the option d is correct for this question now coming to this one question number 87 and it is about the matching the list we have to do matching of the list here so burden of proof on one side you can find the provisions on the other side you can find the sections okay so let's see here burden of proof so burden of proof you all know that it is belonging to the section it is in section 101 of the indian evidence indian evidence act on whom burden of proof lies it is in the section 102 burden of proof as to a particular fact that goes to the section 103 burden of proof fact especially with the knowledge that is in section 106 so this is how you can find that and the option which is going to come here that is the four three two one so where it is this where this is this is in c so this is the correct option next question select the incorrect statement okay so we have to find out the incorrect statement using the code given below the indian evidence act does not apply to arbitration proceedings the indian evidence does not apply to proceeding before the commissioner appointed by the court for recording evidence the evidence, indian evidence act applies to affidavits presented to courts the indian evidence act applies to judicial proceeding held before all kinds of the military courts so what do you find that the rest three statements except the first one they are incorrect so this is incorrect this is incorrect this is saying two three four are incorrect and where the answer is here this is the answer two three four is the incorrect let's see the next question how many year olds electronic record will be deemed to be proved if it is produced from any custody which the court in the particular case considers proper and the options which are given here uh, you can see it is about the electronic records and the options which are given here 5 years, 3 years, 30 years, 20 years, 10 years and the right answer of this electronic records is going to be for the 5 years so this is the correct answer next question is here which one of the following sections of the Indian Evidence Act applies to the pleaders relating to professions of communications so this is how you can find that it is about the pleaders of the profession of communications then the options which are given here 128 129 130 133 134 126 and 127 so which is the right option any one of you just give me the answer here the right answer of this question is this one section 126 and 127 next question section 7 of the indian evidence act does not include which one of the following occasion cause purpose so which section so section 7 does not include which one of them option which are given the right answer of this one the right answer of this one is the this one the purpose it is not contained in the section 7 of the evidence act rest of the equation cause and effect are included in the section 7 of the evidence act moving to the next question the next question is about the matching the list list 1 is about the provisions list 2 is about the sections of the tp act so now let's see transfer in perspective it is in the section 18 when unbound person acquires a vested interest on transfer for his benefit that is the section 30 transfer by ostensible owner it is in the section 44 transfer by co-owner it is in section 44 so this is the way you can find the answer so the it the, becomes like this 2 1 4 3 so this is the option and where the right option it is in the b you can see here next question next next question is this which of the following case decided by the privy council relates to the fraudulent transfer we have to see which case de deals with the fraudulent transfer and the options which are given here Mushar Sahu versus Hakim Lal, Middleton versus Pollock, Union of India versus Rajeshwari and Company, and D. All of the above. So, which is the right answer here? The right answer of this one Mushar Sahu versus Hakim Lal. In this case, it was dealt with the fraudulent transfer. Next question is here 
विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वुड बी कंसिडर्ड एज ए ट्रांसफर ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी अंडर द ट्रांसफर ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी एक्ट सो वी हैव टू सी विच ट्रांजेक्शन वुड बी एज अ ट्रांसफर ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी अंडर टी पी एंड वी हैव टू सेलेक्ट द राइट आंसर द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज ग्रांट ऑफ एन एजमेंटी राइट ऑफ वे ओवर अ पीस ऑफ लैंड एक्सचेंज ऑफ टू थिंग्स अ फैमिली सेटलमेंट क्रिएशन ऑफ अ चार्ज ऑन इमेबल प्रॉपर्टी बाई ऑपरेशन ऑफ लॉ सो विच इज द राइट ऑप्शन यर सो यू नो दैट द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस वुड बी दिस इज राइट टू प्रॉपर्टी ट्रांसफर ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी दिस वुड बी ऑल्सो द ट्रांसफर ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी सो देर फॉर वॉट यू फाइंड दैट द राइट ऑप्शन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज द डी ओके डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन In which of the following mortgages the mortgager binds himself? Where the mortgager binds himself? In which kind of the mortgage? Let's see. Personally to pay the mortgage, and the options which are given: simple mortgage, usual fixed mortgage, anomalous mortgage, mortgage by assurance. So, which is the right answer? The right answer of this one is this: simple mortgage. Next question. Which one of the following statement is not correct? So we have to see which is not the correct statement here. Next question is, which statement is incorrect? A transfer of farm, farm to be for her life, and if she does not desert her husband to see, be entitled to the farm during her life if no condition has been insisted. Yeah, this is correct. A transfer of rupees fifty thousand to be, on the condition that he shall marry with the consent of C, D, and E. B marries without the consent of C, D, and E, but obtains their consent after the marriage. The condition shall be deemed to be fulfilled as it has been subsequently complied with. So this is not the correct statement. He, C has, he or A has to fulfill this one before the marriage. And then the next is A living person can transfer the property to himself in present or in future. Yes, it is correct. A vested interest is not defeated by the date of the transfer before he obtains possession. Yes. So the right answer of this question is here. Which I'm which is I'm going to highlight here, so that you can get the clear picture. This is the right answer. A has to obtain the consent of C and D and E before the B has to obtain the consent before the marriage of uh, the B, C, D and E. So this is the right answer. Next question, question number ninety-seven. Which of the following is an immovable property under TPA? and the option which are given here we have to see the correct answer okay and the option which are given the here the equity of redemption a hut a mortgage debt right to recover maintenance allowance charge on the immovable property so which is the immovable property under the tpa here among this so just give your answer i am waiting for response the right answer of this question is the right answer is this one this one what the equity of redemption hurt mortgage debt so this is the 1 2 and 3 this is the right answer moving to the next question <clears throat> a municipal court board under resolution gave possession of land to x and y with a right to make construction on the said land subject to a condition that after termination of lease construction shall belong to municipal board x and y Accept the condition and made construction on the land. The effect of the resolution acceptance was to create. So, what kind of effect would be there? Which kind of the transfer of property will be there? Whether it would be lease, it would be usual fixed mortgage, license, easement. So, by the friend, the answer is this question is this one, which I am going to highlight. That is the license. Okay. Next question is. The question is. A remedy of foreclosure is available. Which one of in which one of the following mortgages? We have to see where it is available. So options which are given here: usual fixed mortgage, mortgage by conditional sale, simple mortgage, English mortgage. So which is the right answer? Give your answer here. The right answer is here. That is the mortgage by the conditional sale. Conditional sale is this one. Next question. Which one of the following sections of the Transfer of Property Act? That means TPA. Which section contains exception to the maximum nemo dot quad net non habit? 
so the maximum is nemo dat quiet non habit so meaning of this no person can transfer the beta title which he has okay it is not that is not the beta title unless until he has not has that uh, title with himself so the right answer of this question is here which is you can see let's see the option first section 41 and 42 43 and 44 41 and 44 section 41 and 43 it is no quite uh, uh, you will find that it is very repetitive one because the sections are very sounding like each other so the right answer of this question is here which is there that is section 41 and 43 it is an exception to this this maxim okay this maxim nemo dot quad not have it nemo dot quad not have it next question which is a right of the mortgagee and not the of a mortgager option which are given right to foreclosure right to redeem right to recover position right to inspect documents so which is not that one right of mortgager not of a right of mortgagee but not of the mortgager and the option is the correct option of this one is this even right to foreclosure okay next question in case of gift the donor dies before the acceptance then the options which are given gift is valid gift is void gift is re reduced gift has to decide court has to decide sorry uh, so which is the right option here when the donor dies before that one acceptance of course the gift is going to be void next question in which one of the following sections of the tpa an amendment was made in the year of 2002 so in which section of the tpa act the amendment was took place and the options which are given section 100 106 108 110 and the correct answer of this question is the correct option of this is section 106 next question doctrine which requires that the transferor must deliver that subsequently acquire acquire a property to the transferee who acted upon his false representation and did harm to himself by paying money for what he could not get is called and the option which is given here rule against unjust enrichment implied consent feeding the grant by the estoppel doctrine of substantial compliance so which is the right option give your answer here the right answer of this one feeding the grant by the stopper next question the next question is for ex an acceptance mere mental resolve to accept would not be sufficient there must be some external manifestation of the intent of his writing or writing or other act and in which case the court has held this one the supreme court has held this one and the options which are given is fazal ilahi versus state india east india railway company m najappa versus m mp muttu swami dugdale versus lovering and bhagwan das versus gridhari lal and company so which is the right answer here give your answer through the comment box the right answer is this bhagwan das versus gridhari lal next question which one of the following relation does not come within the undue influence so it is about the undue influence and you know that my dear friends undue influence means that the one person must not have a position of his advantage over the other so the options which are given doctor and patient yes this is one of the position where the undue influence can be taken customer and shopkeeper this is not the position lawyer and client yes undue influence chance are there master and servant of course undue influence is there so which is the right answer of this question is here that is the way you need to make here the right answer of this question is this one the customer and shop keeper next question difference between a contract and social agreement is that so we have to see difference between the contract and social agreement the first one is consideration intention to create legal relationship consensus ad idem certainty of performance and the right answer of this question is this one which you all can see that is the intention to intention to create legal relationship so this is the correct option let's see the next question so you can see on the list one the name of the case has been given and on the list two the the provisions has been discussed okay so now let's see which is going to be uh, you know uh, part of this uh, provisions 
and which is going to part of this the cases and satpat ghosh versus management it is belonging to the case of doctrine of frustration raja ram versus prem adip it belongs to the miners agreement in towards limited versus miles for its corporation it is of communication of acceptance harvey versus fasi it is about the invitation to offer so it is 4 3 2 1 so this is the right you know uh, kind of the group so which is the right option here the right option is this one 4 3 2 1 next one question is here assertion and reasons okay let's see assertion first a stranger to a contract cannot enforce a contract and reason is that he is not a party to contract and cannot take the benefit so yes this is the case of the privity of contract therefore this is the correct option moving to the next question the next question is this damages allowed under section 73 of the indian evidence acts are liquidated compensatory penal damages none of the above so which is the right answer here the right answer of this one is this the compensatory damages next question section 124 of the indian evidence is sorry indian contract acts include under the contract of indemnity the option which are given losses caused by human conduct losses caused by accident losses caused by the natural calamity none of the above so which is the right option here just give your answer to comment box i am waiting for your response the right answer of this question is this the losses losses caused by the human conduct okay so this is the right answer next question is here a, a contracts to sign for b at a concert and gets rupees 1000 as advance a is too ill to sing here so a is bound to sing a is bound to compensate b for loss a is bound to return the amount of advance d none of the above so which is the right answer the right answer of this question is this that is the a is bound to return the amount of ad, uh, amount uh, return the amount of advance next question the next question is this a owes b rupees 5000 a pays to b rupees 2000 and b accepts its in satisfaction of the whole claim on a here whole debt is discharged no debt is discharged a part of debt is discharged none of the above so which is the right answer here just give me your answer immediately through the comment box i am waiting for a response here yes the right answer of this one because he took it is in discharge of the whole claim so therefore the a is the correct option next is a contingent contract dependent on the happening of future uncertain event can be enforced when the event the option which are given happens becomes impossible does not happen none of the above so which is the right answer here so the contract of intingent uh, in a contract of contingent will will be enforced when it is going to happen so contingent contract only when it is the event is going to be happen okay next question point out the incorrect statement so we have to see the incorrect statement here a p- party who right rightfully disclaims contract is entitled to compensation for his damage it is correct one a, where a person gives any bond for the performance of any act in which the public is interested he shall be liable upon its breach to pay the whole sum mentioned in therein yes it is also correct see a party to the contract complaining of the breach is not entitled to receive any compensation from the other party if not actual damage or loss is pro- proved to have been caused this is the incorrect statement the rule of compensation for loss of uh, loss or damages caused due to the breach of contract contained in section 73 of the indian contract act does not apply to void agreement so this is the correct also statement so the right option among this for this question is which is incorrect here this one c okay so c is the correct answer for this question now come to the next question a promises to p 
टू पे ए प्रोमिस टू पे अ डेट बार्ड बाई द लॉ ऑफ लिमिटेशन हैज बिन मेड इनफोर्सेबल अंडर विच सेक्शन ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट सो विच सेक्शन ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एक्ट इज गोइंग टू कम हियर ओके नाउ द ऑप्शन विच आर गिवन हियर सेक्शन थर्टी टू फोर्टी सेवन ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड एट विच इज द राइट आंसर हियर जस्ट गिव यूर आंसर हियर इमिडिएटली आई एम वेटिंग फॉर रिस्पॉन्स द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस इज क्वेश्चन इज सेक्शन ओके नेक्स्ट इट इज अबाउट द मैचिंग ऑफ द लिस्ट सो लेट्स सी दॉट आर दॉट कैंड ऑफ द मैचिंग इज देयर सो इट इज अबाउट द मैचिंग ऑफ द लिस्ट एंड लिस्ट टू इज अबाउट सर्टन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट सो वी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम वन बाई वन अ रेलवे टाइम टेबल इज इट इज अ जनरल ऑफर सेकेंड इज पब्लिक नोटिफिकेशन फॉर टेंडर इज इन्विटेशन टू ऑफर थर्ड पिकिंग अप एन आर्टिकल फ्रॉम सेल्स एंड पुटिंग इट putting it in his basket in a self service mall is not an acceptance of the offer a says to b that if a's offer is not accepted b should not say no immediately b keep silent it is an acceptance of offer okay so this is how you can find here so the right option which you can find here that is the 2 1 4 3 and where it is it is in the a next question based on the assertion and reasons let's see agreement without consideration is void consideration may be given by promise promisee or any other person and the uh, quotes which are given here a and r both are true and r is the correct explanation of a b A and R both are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. A is true, but R is false. A is false, but R is true. So, which is the right option here? The right answer is this. Both statements are true. There is no problem. But the you will see here, it is not the correct explanation of A. So, therefore, this state this B is the correct option. Next question. Unlawful consideration and object have been mentioned under which section of the Indian Contract Act? And the option which are given section eighteen, section twenty, section twenty six, section twenty three. So it is about the unlawful consideration and object. Okay. So which is the right answer here? Just give your answer to the comment box. I am waiting for your response. It is about the unlawful object, and the right answer of this question is here. That is section twenty three of the Indian Contract Act. Next question. so my dear friend this question is from the current affairs and g4 means made a joint bidding for focusing on expansion in both permanent and non permanent categories and improving working conditions of the security general council g4 consisted of so my dear friends the g4 nation means india germany japan and brazil so this is the right option now again this is a question which is you no know, uh, you can find that uh, of the inter current affairs it is about the incident which took place in 2013 uh, about the nuclear test and this option which is given here the korea is this and now this question which one of the following is not a principal organ so we have to see which is not the principal organ of the united nations so among this you can see icj ecosoc trustee ship council international labor so these are which you can find is a part of principal organs only this one is not the uh, principal organ for this we have i have made a uh, video on you know and its principal org organizations so you can go to there and you can watch also next question consider the following statements and let's see the what are the statements The General Assembly can request the International Court of Justice to give an advisor or opinion or on any legal questions. The General Assembly may authorize the other organs and specialized agencies of the United Nations to seek such advice from International Court of Justice. The Security Council has independent power to seek advisory opinion on legal questions from the International Court of Justice. On the above statement, we have to see which is correct and which is incorrect. So, my dear friends. in this 
all these statements are the correct one two and three so therefore the answer is one two and three are are correct next question what is the name of sixth committee of united nations general assemblies okay so we have to see the sixth committee of the un general assembly and the option which is given here that is a legal committee yes this is the one which is the sixth committee committee these are not the sixth committee so the first option was the legal committee is the legal committee is the sixth body okay next question international year of 2013 has been declared it has been declared as a part of the international year of the Co water cooperation so this is how you can find but it is not relevant for your preparation that is the old question again the question is here united nation members state voted overwhelmingly on 18th on 18th november 2011 to redeem readmit which state as a member of united nations sudan congo libya macedonia and the right answer of this question is the libya so my dear friend this question may not be relevant the, the international questions of the current affairs but you just recall that whenever preparing for the upg receipt particularly then the question may be asked from this kind of the international affairs next question the idea of peace building commission was raised by so the idea of peace building commission was raised by whom the options which are given united states president bush kofi annan ban ki moon sashi tharoor which is the right answer just give your answer here the right answer of this question is kofi annan okay next question the name of the indian the name of the italian vessel from which the two Ital in italian marines killed two indian fishermen on feb 18 2012 santa maria boz codes luis erica lexi the right answer of this question is this one is erica lexi next question which world bank group institution is not a specialized agency of the united nations and the options which are given here which is not the specialized agency of the world banks institution international development association international finance corporation multi level investment current agency international bank for reconstruction and developments so which is the right answer give your answer through uh, comment box immediately i am waiting for response the answer is this which i am going to highlight the d this is the sorry this is not answer uh, the right answer is c just a second huh? the right answer is multilateral investment currency bank next question on which date india became a member of the united nations india became a member of united nations the options which are given here 24 october 1945 30 october 1945 26 june 1945 15 august 1947 which is the right answer the right answer of this question is india became the member of this un it is on the 30th october 1947 so b is the correct next question is in which country the next question in which country the united nations in which vijay nambya has been working for the peace of international communal violence between uh, rakhine buddhist and rohingyan muslims the option which are given sri lanka pakistan bangladesh myanmar and the right answer of this question is this one is the myanmar euro 3 3 euro 3 is is a pollution control scale you all know that in this is also international affair questions we are not going to recall this one because it is not relevant for here this is question i was going to ask is not going to be asked and now the next question is in which city the united nation human right council is based and the option which is given here then option is which is given here that is paris london geneva new york the right answer is this one new york next question 
विद जज ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ इंडिया वॉज इलेक्टेड एज अ जज ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस ऑन अप्रैल टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व एंड द ऑप्शन विच आर गिवन जस्टिस स्वतंत्र कुमार जस्टिस दलबीर मंडारी जर्जित प्रसाद ए के पटनायक एंड द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज जस्टिस दलबीर भंडारी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ मेंबर ऑफ साथ सो वी हैव टू सी विच इज नॉट अ मेंबर ऑफ साथ द ऑप्शन विच आर गिवन मालदीव अफगानिस्तान म्यांमार भूटान सो इन द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज द म्यांमार इज नॉट द मेंबर ऑफ द साग सो दिस इज द राइट आंसर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फाइव ईयर टर्म फॉर द सेक्रेटरी जनरल ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशन हैज बीन फिक्स बाय होम सो फाइव ईयर टर्म्स ऑफ द सेक्रेटरी जनरल इज गोइंग टू फिक्स बाय होम द ऑप्शन विच आर गिवेन दैट इज द यू एन चार्टर रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशन जनरल असेंबली रेजोल्यूशन ऑफ यूनाइटेड नेशन सिक्योरिटी काउंसिल ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एन एडवाइजरी ओपिनियन ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस सो विच इज द राइट ऑप्शन हियर द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज दिस इज विच आई एम गोइंग टू हाईलाइट दैट इज द सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द ऑफिशियल लैंग्वेज ऑफ इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस इज This is the French and English. This is the correct option. So we are not going to check the other options here. So French and English is the official language of the International Court of Justice. What is the theme for the World Human Rights Day of two thousand twelve? So it is also old question. We will not take this one. Next question: Does United Nations, as an organization, have the capacity to bring an international claim against a state in the International Court of Justice? and the options which are given here that is yes because united nation is is also deemed to be state no because the international court of justice is open to the state party only yes because united nation has a legal personality d none of the above so which is the correct option so the options which is given this question was not uh, found as a correct option so therefore we are not going to take this one because every option is very conflicting each one the next question is here on 29 November two thousand twelve, the United Nations General Assembly voted to make Palestine as as a non-member observer state. Okay, so this is the correct answer. Which is the number of state which nuclear capabilities are as listed in the next set two of CTBT? So this answer is forty four, uh, which is there. Next is which original member of United Nations was not represented? At the San Francisco Conference in nineteen forty-five, and did not therefore sign the United Nations Charter. And the option which is given: India, Belarus, Poland, Ukraine. And the right answer is the Poland. Next is three-party character. Is the outstanding feature of which organization? And the option which are given: ILO, International Civil Aviation Organization, International Criminal Court, none of the above. And the right answer of this question is. Triple correct is International Labour Organisation. Next question: In Bhanumati vs. State of UP, two thousand ten, the Supreme Court, in interpreting Article two forty three clause C of the Constitution, applied which doctrine? And the options which are given here: Doctrine of Labour Legislation, Doctrine of Silence, Pith and Substance, and Basic Features. And the right answer of this question is here: Doctrine of Silence. Next question. पी एस संगमा वर्सेज प्रणब मुखर्जी टू थाउजेंड थर्टीन केस डिसाइडेड बाई सुप्रीम कोर्ट विद इट वॉज इनोनिमसली बाई थ्री टू और सिक्स टू वन सो इट वॉज बाई दी थ्री टू नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन विच लिस्ट द सब्जेक्ट पीडीग्रीम प्लेसेज आउटसाइड इंडिया इज एनोमरेटेड एंड द ऑप्शन विच आर गिवन हियर यूनियन लिस्ट स्टेट लिस्ट कंकर लिस्ट सो एनी थिंग विच इज गोइंग टू डेल आउटसाइड इंडिया That will be subject matter of the union list. So the A is the correct option. Next option, next question. Order of the election commissions to cover statute of elephants being election symbol of political party during election period does not violate Article Twenty Five of the Constitution. Violate Article Twenty Five of the Constitution. Often preamble of the Constitution infringes Article Nineteen One A of the Constitution. So which is the correct option here? Just give your answers here. The right answer of this question is this. It does not violate Article Twenty Five of the Constitution. 
मूव टू दस्ट क्वेश्चन द सैलरीज एंड अलाइंसेस ऑफ द जजेस ऑफ सुप्रीम कोर्ट ऑफ द इंडिया आर चार्ज ऑन एंड द ऑप्शन विच आर गिवन हेयर मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ लॉ कंटीजेंसी फंड कंसोलिडेट फंड ऑफ इंडिया एंड द राइट आंसर ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज दिस डी कंसोलिडेट फंड ऑफ द इंडिया सो विद दिस we are finishing the question paper of 2013 in case if you have any query if you have any suggestion if you have any doubts if you found that any question is not correct please uh, share the comments and so that we can improve this one and suggestions are always welcome and thank you to everyone for watching this video and i hope that you will share with your friends and you will do this exercise simultaneously with this video also with this note i am thanking to everyone to all of you again thank you